when I was a player, I expected a lot out of my coach. And if I was gonna respect him, he needed to respect me. And being a 23 year old, getting off of this position to coach 30 guys who are similar in my age, I was very fearful about not gaining their respect and just having an awful time for the two years that I'm here. And that's when I uh, started doing job crafting to help me with my position. And it includes three things. The first one is cognitive crafting. And that's altering the way you think about your work. And so I would think if I were the player, uh, pun, if I were the player myself, would I like this? Like, what would I think about the coach? And the second is task crafting. And that's changing the tasks that they're engaged in. So if I were a player, I'm thinking if I implement this drill for one of my pitchers, like how is it going to benefit them? Would it make them better? Are they going to enjoy this? Because that's another thing about uh, baseball. You have to have fun while you're doing it. And the third thing is relational crafting. And that's changing the nature of relationships in the interactions that you have at work. And so... I have to treat them like the adults that they are and not like their kids just because they're under me. So as long as they're doing everything that they need to do for me, I allow them to be themselves, do it how they want, as long as it's up to the standard that's necessary. And respect comes in all different ways. And uh, one thing that not a lot of people think about is presentation. So now me being all dressed up and what you can see, it's giving off respect to you guys. But if I were doing it in person and stood up and she me like this, I doubt any of you would respect me at all. And for that portion, I'm gonna be all dressed up in a nice shoe up top and then either like blue shorts or sweatpants on the bottom, but I just didn't wanna do that for this since it's a rough shot. All right, good morning, everybody. My name is Betsy, and I'm going to be continuing our group presentation on leadership. As an Army officer, I'm going to be uh, specifically discussing leadership as it pertains to being in the military. As you can all imagine, uh, leadership is an important thing within the military, so much so that we have a doctrine that's um, developed strictly to discuss leadership and what makes a good leader. So EDP 6-22 is our leadership docu document. And in there, it lists six attributes that are important for leaders. Character, present, intellect, achieves, develops, and leads. All of these can be tied into servant leadership, but I'm specifically going to be discussing character, intellect, develops, and leads. So, character talks about having empathy and humility, important attributes for a servant leadership. Intellect talks about having sound judgment, which is important for a good servant leader. Leads talks about leading others by example and communicating effectively. And finally, develops, discusses how you create a positive environment for your subordinates and develop others within their profession. Also within this doctrine, they talk about the Army values, loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. Again, they can all be tied into servant leadership, but specifically for loyalty, it says that leaders earn subordinates loyalty and respect by training them well and treating them well. Respect, we can all recognize this, you treat others as you hope to be as you hope to be treated. Selfless service talks about putting the welfare of your subordinates above your own, which is directly in the definition of servant leadership. And finally, personal courage talks about facing fear, danger, or adversity. This in particular plays into my example of servant leadership in the military. So as a company commander of 130 soldiers, I was directed within 72 hours to deploy 130 of my soldiers to Washington, D.C. Now, once I started calling people and asking them to come up within 72 hours, I realized that there were some valid excuses or reasons why they couldn't deploy. Now, that would mean that I wasn't going to meet my numbers of what I was given. However, because I was trying to put the welfare of my soldiers before my own, I had to go and face the adversity um, of speaking to my boss and explaining reasons as to why they couldn't deploy. So thank you very much. Hi, my name is Criola, and I'll be discussing using servant leadership and getting subordinates to follow your lead while gaining respect. There are 10 principles of servant leadership according to Robert Greenleaf. They are 
listening, empathy, healing, awareness, persuasion, conceptualization, foresight, stewardship, commitment to growth of people, and building community. As a military leader, it's important for me to encompass the servant leadership style, and it's also prominent in the civilian setting. First, one must develop a listening attitude to members' concerns. It is vital for us to listen and increase communication and understanding with one another. As leaders, we gain the subordinates' trust and respecting and listening to them. We must demonstrate empathy to subordinates or our workers, sympathize with members' concerns, and render help where necessary. Empathy harmonizes a leader and increases identification with subordinates. It is a powerful force to know how to heal, healing of relationships, which involves healing with you and doing the same for others. We must prioritize persuasion over threats and forging consent for subordinates. Persuasion uses soft powers like discussion and rigorous engagement to streamline contentious issues. Commitment to the growth of people is a deep commitment to nurturing others and seeing growth in their personal and professional careers. When it comes to building in community, we must establish a good report with others within and outside of, of our organizations, building community through local and larger institutions. Respect requires reciprocation for it is, for it is sustainable. We must give respect in order to receive it from our subordinates and employees. Thank you.